Not every video that I give you is going to be massively action packed. In fact, in today's video, we are literally laying down five expense tracker stickers. Hi guys, guys, I'm on Buying Pass. Welcome back to Budget with Ira. My name is Ira and on this channel, we talk about budgeting, paying down debt and saving up for the life that you truly deserve. If that sounds like something you'd like to watch, please consider subscribing to the channel because we do have a lot of fun over here, bestie. We rally, rally there. So yeah, today we are checking in on my budget. We're looking at the second week of May and sometimes not much happens just because of where the week lands. We're literally doing hardly anything today. But the routine is really, really important. And the reason why I put out these videos every single week is to show you that even though it can't be exciting every single week, having a routine with your budget is super, super important because it allows you to stop bad things from happening and helps you grow on the good things that are happening. So we're not doing too much today and I'm envisioning that today's video is gonna be really, really short, but let's go ahead and let's start budget investing because we need to get this done. Okay, so we are here with the May layout in the calendar. We're looking at the, is it the second week or is it the third week? I don't even know. Second week, right. We're doing the second week, obviously. And we're doing expense tracking from the 7th all the way to the 13th. There isn't much to lay down this week, so let's get going. On the Sunday, I went to the one stop near me. Uh, I wanted some junk, so that's what I bought. And that's all I did that day. A lovely no spend day on the Monday. And then again on the Tuesday. My phone bill came out on the Wednesday. It was a little bit more than expected, but it is fine. Went to Tesco's just on sort of like errand running uh, and just picked up some things for household we needed, like cleaning supplies and stuff like that. Then another no spend day on the Friday. So pretty good this week for no spends. And then on the way over to my brother's to watch Eurovision, I bought some beer and some stuff like that from Lidl's. Um, we hadn't bought any groceries that week. Um, so that's what I spent the groceries money on. And I also popped into the local shop near him and bought some more bits that I couldn't find at Lidl's. And that was my personal spending money. So yeah, that was that for the week. What I want to do now is move over and check in because there's not much to show you, Bestie. Okay, I'm going to start by filling in everything that I know. Okay, so starting with spending, we stuffed £23 last week and I spent £17.65. So I've actually got £5.35 to roll over. For groceries, we stuffed only 40 because we pulled that queen out of the wild card. We spent 39.44. We're very good at getting it right up to the line. So I've got £2.14 to roll over. We didn't spend any petrol at all last week, so there's nothing stuffed, nothing spent. So we still got £90 um, on sort of a barrel. For household, we never stuffed anything, but we roll it over from the start of the month. So we had 40 31 to work with, and I spent 23 25 which leaves me with 17 06 And another good week in terms of unbudgeted. There were no unbudgeted spends, so that is all good. So last week we stuffed £63 and together with 134.89 we spent 80.34 which leaves us with 114.55 to roll over. Now what I'm going to do really quickly is move over to the front of my book. It's becoming like one of my favourite things that I do and I'm going to move over to the 26 envelope challenge. Let's get cracking. So this week's a good one. We're going to get rid of the 13 envelope here, which uh, means that we've only got 12 to do next week. And then we're moving into the money for next month, which I can't wait to see how this week turns out, because this week's going to be like a bit of a make or break week for my budget. So, so far, it's going really, really well. So I could either achieve the income that I wanted to or have to reduce my budget so it just depends on how this week goes so really really exciting just gonna stuff this into my stunning box here and then I'm good to go so what I want to do now is just take a quick look at the budget and make sure we're on track for the week so there's only one thing we actually need to look at and that is phone so we originally budgeted 30 no 1530 
and it ended up being 1751, so slightly over, but still not a massive deal in the world of where we're at with this sort of stuff. So like everything's kind of a little bit under or a little bit over, so it's not horrendous. So yeah, next week we've got quite a lot of the final bills coming out for the month. So yeah, that's really good. So what I need to do now is go ahead and cash stuff for next week. Let's go. Okay, before we do that, I'm just gonna go through these envelopes just to see if I can make these any smaller, um, just because there's quite a lot of coins in here and all of that. So just gonna see what I can do here. So I've got two, three, four. Um, I can definitely, can definitely change this up with the penny challenge. One sec. Okay, so now I've got this. I can move that into another pot and get a fiver out, which is brilliant. I haven't quite got enough to do any envelopes in my 100 envelope challenge, which is a bit of a shame, but um, you know, it is what it is. Whoa, let's deal with this. So these are like a bit smaller now so that I can deal with them. Like A7's lovely until you start having loads of change. But what's really good is I have the penny challenge going on at the moment. So I always constantly need change. So yeah, this is looking loads better. Just lost that 5p, but never mind. It's looking loads better. So we can start stuffing now. So let's go ahead to groceries. Groceries, I give myself 70 pounds for the week and I should be left with 70 pounds for next week. So that's the last week of the month for me. So that's that but before I go ahead and stuff this I'm going to move over to my wildcard challenge that's available on my Etsy store. When you buy this challenge you get this stunning suit of cards and it is beautiful it has the full budget with Ira Rainbow and how I'm playing it there are rules there but how I'm playing it is I'm pulling a card every single week and whatever it lands on I will save. Ace is one, goes all the way up to 10. I'm counting Jack as a 20, Queen as a 30, which we pulled last week, and King as a 40. So there's quite a lot to do. And what I'm doing is I'm doing this four times in a year because that's 52 draws. And I'm using that money towards a holiday, hopefully Christmas time. So yeah, all of my cards are at the back of here. So this is that. So let's go ahead and pull this. This is the third time I believe I'm doing this. So. Hopefully it is kinder this week because we didn't have very much money last week, but we kind of didn't need it. So today we are saving three, not too shabby. So I'm just gonna put these in the back and hopefully I've got seven in wildcard, which I do. So let me just take out five, six, seven, and put the two in, 10 in, sorry. So 67. Plus there's two in there as well. So 69, we, 69 for the week. So that's basically full amount of money. So uh, I think we need to make sure that we go to the grocery store and get proper groceries. But we are moving over. Petrol is digital now and it's going okay, even though I didn't spend anything last week. Uh, we are doing spending and this one here. So let's move over. So spending, it should be 30 pounds and I should have 30 pounds for this week and 30 pounds for next week, which I do. And I'm not gonna stuff it straight away. What I'm gonna do is my 1050 challenge is available on my Etsy store. When you buy this challenge, you get a 20 sided dice. There's plenty of color still in stock but I know pink and purple are out of stock at the moment but I will be reformulating that so if you want the challenge as it is right now I think I've got it in red orange yellow green I've got neutrals uh, there, there's some really really nice ones available so snap it up while you've got the chance but anyway what I'm doing is I'm rolling this every single week and whatever the number lands on I will save as you can see on the back I have rolled this many, many times. I've got a 17, four 16s, a 14, two 11s, and a five left over. So because I've rolled it so many times, what I'll be doing is I'll be rolling once and whatever is the closest number to it that I have available, I'll save. So if it's a low number, I'll say five. I mean, I don't know, let's just see what we get. 10, closest is 11, so not bad. Have I got a pound? I have not got a pound. Nine, 
five. Okay, I will do it like this. I'll take nine out. So, is that right? No, hold on. Let me put in 20 and I'll take out nine. That's correct. <laughs> what am I doing? Six, seven, eight, nine. Oh, come on. Right, 19. Yep, perfect. So I've got 19 pounds for this week, plus the five I had left over. So not, not a bad week for spending money, to be honest. So yeah, pretty good. Thanks so much for being here with me this week, bestie. Hi guys, guys, and all my friends. Thank you so much for getting through to the end of the video. You know I love it when you get through to the end of the video. Please give this video some love. Make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe. And if you are gonna comment, please use this emoji. That's all we have today because there's not really much to talk about at all. Um, yeah. <laughs> but I will see you next week where we've got quite a lot of bills coming out. Um, yeah. Massive thank you to everybody who watches me, even the videos that aren't as exciting as this. Did Steven Silberg direct this video? I mean, I don't know. This was so exciting. <laughs> But an extra special thank you to the patrons and the channel members who support me more than you will ever know. If you would like to join them and support me over on Patreon, please take a look at the link in the description. You will not regret it, bestie. That's all we have for today, and I will see you next week for the next check-in. Until then, bestie, I would like you to have a wonderful day, have a wonderful week, and have a wonderful budget. Always remember, don't trust Ira. And bestie, I'll see you in the next one. Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.